Both FedEx and UPS apologizing tonight because thousands of gifts didn't make it under the Christmas tree. And tonight, the companies are scrambling yeah. to deliver them late. 7 Action News reporter Kim Russell looks into what happened and what's next. What'd the kids get? Oh my God, what didn't they what get? Didn't they get? <laughs> On Christmas Day, Clifford Lee's kids found gifts under the tree. His wife opened up Christmas Blink, and Lee was supposed to get a diamond faced watch from his wife. But today, he sadly has no new watch for his wrist. It's empty right now. Yeah, you need something on that wrist. <laughs> I need a watch. <laughs> <laughs> the reason? He says UPS didn't make its deadline. Even though UPS says it packs, ships, and guarantees holiday happiness, customers say the company didn't deliver this holiday season. I'm actually interested in seeing how they handle the situation and is it going to be beneficial to the customer uh, in some way, shape, or form because I actually paid for it overnight. UPS isn't alone. FedEx is also under fire for not delivering thousands of gifts on time. I called both companies to find out what they would be doing for customers dealing with late deliveries. They tell me if you paid extra directly to them for a quick delivery, you may be eligible for a refund from them. The company is blaming correct projections about how busy they would be. An increase in online shopping and icy weather. But customers say it's bad planning. They heard the CEO of UPS say extra workers wouldn't be needed this holiday season earlier this month on CNBC. We continue to become more efficient and use technology on the ground for routing and scheduling so we can, you know, meet increased demand. In the meantime, most late gifts should be delivered today. Clifford Lee waited at the UPS store in Troy to make sure he got his watch at the soonest minute possible. Yeah, I've been here for uh, actually about an hour and a half uh, waiting for a truck to show up because, uh, well, I want my gift. In Troy, Kim Russell, 7 Action News.